So if we time warp back to 1970 and visit our local Dodge or Plymouth dealer, there was a lot of decisions to be made when buying a new muscle car from Dodge or Plymouth. There was a lot of different cars offered, you know, Cudas, Challengers, Roadrunners, uh, but not only that, a lot of different engines were offered. So 383s, 440s, 426 Hemis, manual transmissions, automatics, bucket seats, bench, uh, rally wheels versus steel painted wheels with dog dish hubcaps, even interior options like the uh, AM FM radio with the recorder or sunroofs and vinyl tops. But then our friends at Mopar decided to add one new level of option choice to make, and that was a whole line of special colors called the high impact or high performance colors, depending if they were on a Dodge or a Plymouth. So we're gonna backtrack just a little bit. The color scope was already a really wide spectrum offered in 1970. And there was a very famous car ad uh, that showed a Cuda that had all the different colors painted on the side of it that were offered, I think 27 or so different colors. And a few years ago, our friend Tim Wellborn had a, uh, a recreation real car made from that ad. It's known as the color chip Cuda, and it's got all those different colors painted on the side. A side note on that is that that's actually half wrapped and they painted the wrap. So those aren't actually painted on the car. If he wanted to, he could peel one side of that off. And I think the original car is green underneath, but a really cool display. But nevertheless, what was interesting is this new level of color, the Dodge high performance colors or the Plymouth high impact colors. And it was a series of colors that were designed to really grab your attention and, and set off stripes and other packages on muscle cars. So today we thought it'd be fun to take a look back at some of those cars and colors from those two series and some of the cars uh, we've actually featured from the Brothers Collection. So the first high impact or high performance color we're going to look at is a really bright, what I almost call a tennis ball green. And on the Plymouth high impact side, it's called Limelight and the Dodge cars painted with that same color were called Sublime. And we recently saw three different cars painted in this color get unveiled at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Chicago. It takes a special person to like that color, but it definitely stops traffic. Next up in the high impact, high performance line is one of the most popular colors of all of them. In the high performance line, it's called Plum Crazy Purple, and in the high impact line, it's called In Violet. And you can see a 1970 Dodge Challenger 426 Hemi convertible four-speed car in the Brothers Collection wearing Plum Crazy Purple in our Muscle Car of the Week episode number 207. Next up is a Plymouth color called Vitamin C Orange. Uh, on the Dodge side, it was called Go Mango. It's a really cool reddish orange color. It really does look like a mango. And we featured a really cool car, 1969 and a half Roadrunner A12 440 car wearing this color uh, in the Brothers Collection and Muscle Car of the Week, episode number 237. And it's true that this car was a 69 and a half kind of mid-year entry, which technically came out before the 1970 high impact colors, but it's still the same color and it carried over. On that same part of the color spectrum, we have high impact color Tor Red uh, and Dodge High Performance called Hemi Orange. It's a great color. If you get real close to it, you'll see that it actually had some uh, almost pearl to it. We featured a Tor Red 1971 Plymouth Cuda 440 six barrel convertible in episode number 155 of Muscle Car of the Week. And today we are kind of focusing on the 1970 high impact colors. They did carry over in 1971. They added a few. Uh, this is one that was available in both years. Next up, we're turning that color intensity level up a couple of more notches. This is a yellow color on the Plymouth high impact side. It is known as Lemon Twist. And on the Dodge side, it's Top Banana Yellow. And the car that we're showing wearing this color is another 1970 Hemi Cuda. Uh, this one wearing a Lemon Twist uh, against a black vinyl top with a black stripe, a striking, striking car. Uh, this is one that was always funny to me. You can't really go street racing and get away with it in a Hemi-powered bright yellow car, but it'd be fun to try.
Next up, one of the more controversial colors in the high impact, high performance color palette. Uh, this one, technically it's pink. On the high impact side, it's called Moulin Rouge. And on the Dodge High Performance, it's known as Panther Pink, which of course is a spin on the famous uh, Inspector Clouseau movie, The Pink Panther, and then the cartoon, The Pink Panther as well. We featured a really cool car, a 1970 Dodge Challenger TA which had a uh, 340 and a four speed and the RT stripes on it, Trans Am car, but wearing pink. A lot of cool comments on that one. You can see that episode in number 24 of Muscle Car of the Week. And the last high impact color we're featuring from that 1970 chip chart is a 1970 Plymouth AAR Cuda. And this is another green color. The Plymouth called it sassy grass green. Dodge called it green go. Both of them apply. This is a really great car. It's kind of the Plymouth brother to the Challenger TA we just saw. The AAR, of course, was the road racing Trans Am version of the Plymouth Cuda, powered by a 340 with three carburetors and all the cool Trans Am suspension tricks. And it looks really awesome in that color. So I think it's fun that Plymouth and Dodge did everything they could to build exciting cars with exciting power plants and make them visually exciting as well with all these great colors. Which is your favorite color in the high impact or high performance color line? You can leave us your feedback. And we'll be back next time with another cool car from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.